Uh, hello, this is Crypto Snipe here. Uh, what up, players? Chilling with uh, Mad Dog for Life High. What's up, guys? Mad Dog for Life High. Chilling with Crypto Snipe. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do a dual com. We're gonna be talking about like what influenced uh, our gaming and like how we started and like basically what games we like to play and why we like to play them. And Mad Dog Life said he wants to go first. Um, what's up, guys? So, um, I started off playing uh, N64. I want to say back in, uh, it was a while ago, a few years ago, um, I started playing N64 with my brothers and sisters, and we used to play games like GoldenEye 007, and uh, Mario Kart 64, Diddy Kong Racing, and uh, a lot of wrestling games like uh, WrestleMania 2000, and No Mercy and stuff like that, and that's that was that's the root of my gaming right there, starting with my brothers. Uh, and then we move on to the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, we play games like I play games like Power Stone. That was so awesome. Um, Sonic Adventure 2. That was probably my favorite game on the Dreamcast. Uh, just because you you got to play a Shadow, and he was my favorite character. He is still my favorite character from the Sonic uh, Genesis series. And after that, I moved on to the GameCube. GameCube come out when. When Blockbuster was was so big, I used to go down to Blockbuster on like Friday after school, and I used to, <laughs> I was a big gamer. I used to go to and pick up maybe one or two games for the weekend. I used to just play. I used to just play that for like the whole weekend. Those two games, and then I just rinse and repeat uh, for all the weekends after that. But the game, the big games I played on the uh, GameCube were Mario Mario Thousand Year Door. That was so much fun. I played the campaign, I want to say maybe twice, maybe halfway on the third time, on the third try. Uh, and another big game, my friends used to come over a lot. We used to play Super Smash Brothers Melee, and uh, that was that was a lot of fun. After that, I moved on to the PS2 with my brother. My brother got it, and we used to play the P the PS2 is a game that is a game console that we had a lot of games for, like Jet Li Rise to Honor, Batman. But the biggest game that we played a lot was Tekken. Uh, we played a lot, a lot of Tekken and Def Jam Vendetta. My brother and I we used to we used to just go one on one all the time in Def Jam Vendetta. A lot of a lot of fun memories with that. And then um, the Xbox, Xbox came out, and then we played. I played Halo 2. I just jumped immediately into Halo 2 because I was at a friend's house one day and he. I didn't, I didn't know what it was, and he, it was a Halo 2 was actually the first first person shooter I played on the Xbox, uh, and it was so much fun. Um, and then after that, I got my got a 360, and I started my first Call of Duty was Call of Duty 4, and that was that was that that best. You guys know Hutch, Hutch. Uh, uh, I used to watch Hutch a little bit, and uh, he he really inspired me to like play better, and he'd give a lot of tips and stuff. And uh, yeah, COD 4 was definitely that that big experience that gave me led me to the COD series, and I started playing the uh, Modern Warfare 2. I kind of skipped the World at War just because it it wasn't as big title as that as uh, COD 4 was. Because uh, it was getting made by Treyarch, maybe I don't know if that was the case, or it just wasn't getting that many views. But Treyarch is a really good company. I really appreciate the uh, the patches and the time of quality work that they they give to the community. I really appreciate Treyarch for that. Um, and then right now I'm currently playing Halo. I'm really big into Halo right now. Halo Reach um, and Black Ops. Now I'm waiting for Modern Warfare 3 to come out. All right. Hey, what over to Crypto Snap? Uh, yeah, guys, what's up? Yeah, so uh, uh, when I start first started playing, um, I was I was uh big on like I just had the N sixty four, and uh, it was like the, I got the Pikachu edition for like Easter, and I mean it was just Pikachu edition. You had your your standard, uh, you had the microphone. It was really cool. Like you get to talk to Pikachu and he would respond. Um, but like besides that, I got moved on from that, and I got uh, 
uh, GameCube. GameCube was really where I started playing a lot. Like, I started playing a lot with friends and my brother and, like, tons of people. And, like, I used to play Nightfire Real a lot. And we used to play on that the winter the winter map, the snow map, and I, I never lost in Nightfire. I was unbeatable. Others can say what they want, but I was unbeatable at Nightfire. Um, also, for the N64, I used to play a lot of Pokemon Stadium, and, like, I love to use, like, the the first forms because they had all the best moves, and unlike, like, the Nido King, you would have, like, just not very good moves compared to, like, the first form. Also, I, um, played Super Smash Bros. and beat it twice on Melee for the N64, which t takes a lot of time, I and mean, you have to, like, take, you have to, like, beat the adventure mode on, like, the highest difficulty. It, I mean, it just takes, it took me forever to beat that. Uh, and then, after that, moved on from GameCube, I... Well, I didn't really move on. I just went to a friend's house. My friend JCC1109, that's his gamer tag. Check him out. And uh, went went to his house. He had Halo 2 for the Xbox. Started playing that. He had like a projector screen that he brought down. So it was it was really awesome. So you're like playing on like it's like 200 inches or something like that. It's it's like it's huge. So played that a lot. We played Coagulation, and that's when I first started like loving Halo. And after that, he got an Xbox like the beginning of my eighth grade year. And so that's like 2007. So we, I basically we started playing Hill Three, and like eventually got like online. This is like the first time like any one of my friends got online. And then uh, when I would go play at his house, I would like like every other like three quarters of the games maybe I would be player of the game. Like that's what they had in Halo Three, unlike Halo Reach, where they don't really have the MVP based on like you know who does the best regardless of what team you're on. So I was really big on that, and then. Basically, after that, that that uh, Black Friday that year, I got an Xbox, but I but unfortunately, I had to wait until uh, Christmas to open it, which really killed me inside because I, I was I was dying. It was in my room and I just couldn't play it. So then, eventually, got to play it, and then the very I got it for Christmas. Then the very next day, I got Halo Three and I got the router thing for the Xbox. And then, um, basically, I just started. I played a ton of Halo Three. Like all I did was play Halo Three. I just tried to get better. Um, and I watched a few gameplays on YouTube, but I didn't really know about the YouTube community then. And I just kept just kept playing. And eventually, got I got pretty good, but I never like really got that great. I never got to level 50. I know people are gonna hate on me for that, but it is what it is. Never got to level 50 because what I believe is um, is that I when I was little I played too much and then and I like lost so many games I just couldn't rank up. But besides that, and then I eventually started getting the Call of Duty series, and now watching. The zombies were about to lose. It's unfortunate, and I'm really looking forward to Modern Warfare 3. And uh, we'll check you guys out. Just checking out. We're checking out here. Peace yeah. out. See you guys. Peace.